Holy Spirit, we love you. Come do what you want to do in this time. Beloved, as you abide in me and in my words and in my truth, in my love, in my presence, you are a branch. Yes, because I am the vine. Our Father is the gardener. You are a branch. We are connected. We cannot be disconnected as you continue to abide in me and in my words. Just as a tree cannot be a tree without branches, and a branch cannot live without being connected to a tree. Beloved, we are connected. We are one. You are not separate from me. I come today to destroy all lies that say that you are separated from me and distant from me. We are not distant from you. destroy all separation between you and the Father. I came to bridge that gap. I came to reconcile you to the Father, to know the Father's heart towards you, my heart towards you. We love you so much and you were created to function in us, to live in us, to produce fruit with us and in us. You can do nothing apart from us. Beloved, say aloud right now, I am connected with Jesus. I am one with the Almighty God. I am a branch to the true vine. I am one with Christ. Through the Holy Spirit, we are one. We are one. You were never called to live alone or independent of me. Dependence is a beautiful thing. You can trust me. I know dependence is sometimes a hard thing as you're used to do everything in your own strength. My heart though is for you to live dependent on me and not on your own flesh. Beloved, a branch is held up by the tree. A branch's purpose is to bear fruit and it does that by staying connected to the vine. Beloved, I am the vine. You are the branch. And our Father is the gardener. Do not strive and do not stress when you're being pruned, as all branches need to be pruned in due season in order to bear much more fruit. You are called to bear much fruit, beloved. Del- 
delicious, life-giving fruit, fruit of the Spirit. Love, peace, joy, patience, faith, goodness, gentleness, kindness, self-control. The fruit of your life is evident to all. And my heart is to see you full of fruit, flourishing and thriving, no matter the season. Beloved, as you stay abiding in me, in my word, meditating on truth, obeying words of love, life and truth, you will prosper in all you do. And whatever you put your hands to, you will have good success. This is my promise to you. Keep your eyes on me. And remember, a tree does not strive to grow. It just abides. Abide in me. Abide in my presence. Rest in my truth. As a tree needs light and water and soil to grow, so you too bathe in the light of my presence. Drink and be filled to overflow with the water of the Holy Spirit and let the roots of your life go down deep into my never-ending love for you.